Hello everyone, myself Forum Mokwana, Assistant Professor of EC Department at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In last session, we have started unit number 3 that is the geostationary orbit. In that session, we have studied introduction and radius and height of the geo orbit and basics of loop angle. So, in this session, by continuing this chapter, we will cover antenna loop angles, latitude and longitude of definitions and the calculation of azimuth angle. Now first focusing on the antenna loop angles. As we have seen there are two most important loop angles. First one is azimuth, second one is elevation angle. Azimuth angles are mostly a horizontal angle and the elevation angle are a vertical angle. These two angles are required at the antenna so that it points directly at the satellite. So which is helpful in order to point at the satellite directly from the earth station antenna. For that we don't require any tracking because with the large earth station which are used for commercial communication the antenna beam width is very narrow. But when a tracking mechanism is required which is used to compensate for the moment of satellite about a nominal geostationary position. So this type of antenna which are used for home reception that is we are mounting a dish TV antenna on our terrace in which the antenna beam width is quite broad. So no tracking is required. So which this kind of arrangement allows the antenna to be affixed in the position as an evidence why the small antennas used for the reception of satellite TV that can be seen fixed to the side of the homes because the azimuth and the elevation angle of our this TV antenna is fixed. With the help of this antenna look angle, we required three pieces of information. First one is the earth station latitude, which is represented by lambda e. Over here, e stands for earth station, lambda stands for latitude. Second, the earth station longitude which is represented by phi e. Phi stands for longitude, e stands for earth station. And the third quantity which is the longitude of the set subsatellite point denoted by phi ss. Phi stands for longitude and ss stands for subsatellite point. We know that a subsatellite point is a vertical projection of satellite onto the surface of the earth. Right? Now, what do you mean by latitude and longitude? Latitude and longitude are the system of geometrical coordinates which are used in designating the location of places on the surface of the earth as latitude gives the location of place north or south of the equator while the longitude gives the location of place either east or the west of prime meridian now the latitude north will be taken as a positive angle 
and let it tune south will be taken as a negative angle similarly longitude east of greenwich meridian will be taken as a positive angle and if it is at the west side then it is considered to be a negative angle how i will give you an example in the statement of problem it is mentioned that the latitude of our station is 40 degree south then we have to make note that over here south is present so we have to taken this quantity as a negative right and over here if it is presented that 40 degree north then we have to taken this value as a, as it is that means plus 40 from this point because north is represented over here right and if it is south then it is a negative angle similarly for longitude over here it is represented as 35 degree west that means for longitude west we have to consider it as a negative angle so we have taken this 35 as a negative value right these two points are the most important for calculating the antenna loop angle right now we are first going to calculate the azimuth angle over here you can see that from this geometry this is our earth this is north pole this is south pole this is east and this is the west side of the earth this is the equator of earth over here es represent earth station ss represent sub satellite point and this is the satellite so the vertical projection of satellite on to the surface of the earth is called a sub satellite point right so the distance between satellite and the sub satellite defines the height of the orbit okay and the earth station is represented over here on to the earth so the distance between earth station and the satellite is represented as a distance d right now lambda e stands for latitude of the earth station and ae stands for the radius of the earth okay now from this geometry you can find two triangles first one is a spherical triangle this is this is a spherical triangle this this and the third this this is a spherical triangle and second one is the plane triangle this line this line and joining of this line so this is a plane triangle now considering the first spherical triangle we can get the information that the sides of all the spherical triangles are having a arc of a great circle so these sides are defined by the angle subtended at the center of the earth how it can be represented that i will show you to on the next slide this spherical triangle and this is the plane triangle 
now the spherical triangle arc c arc a and the arc b so the side a is the small a is the angle between the radius to the north pole and the radius to the subsatellite this angle is called the small a a spherical triangle in which one side is 90 degree is called quadrant triangle angle small b is the angle between this angle angle small b is the angle between the radius to the earth station and the radius to the subsatellite point this angle small b okay now angle c angle c is the angle between radius to the earth station and the radius to the north pole this angle this one or you can say this one both are same so there are total six angle small a b c and capital a b c we have seen small a b c now we are focusing the three angles which are capital a b c starting from angle a which is the angle between the plane containing c and the plane containing b now angle b is the plane containing c and a this is the b angle so it joins angle c and angle a and the last one angle c which joins angle small b and the angle small a right now these are the angles which we have studied in previous slide the capital b stands for phi e minus phi ss that is longitude of earth station minus longitude of subsatellite point right small a stands for 90 degree this angle this is a 90 degree okay now small c 90 minus lambda e 90 minus lambda e gives you uh, this small c okay and the capital b which is a latitude Longitude of earth station minus longitude of subsatellite point that we have discussed. But I have written here separately because with the help of this value of capital B and value of capital A, you are able to calculate the value of azimuth angle right capital a stands for sine inverse in bracket sine mode b upon sm sine small b and the value of small b comes from over here cos inverse cos b into cos lambda e you can get the value of b from here and lambda e which is already given in the statement right now Considering the plane triangle, we have discussed this is the radius of earth, A GSO stands for radius of geostationary orbit and the D stands for distance between satellite and the earth station. This is the angle which is called small b and this is the angle is called 90 plus elevation angle that we will discuss into the next session 
ए ई स्टैंड फॉर रेडियस ऑफ अर्थ प्लस द हाइट ओके नाउ हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द एजिमुथ एंगल देर आर टोटल फोर फिगर ओवर हियर यू कैन सी दैट ए बी सी डी दिस फोर फिगर हैविंग अ डिफरेंट वैल्यू ऑफ लेमड़ा ई एंड कैपिटल बी बिकॉज अ वैल्यू ऑफ दीज टू क्वॉंटिटी डिटरमाइंस द एजिमुथ एंगल हाउ दिस इज अर अर्थ this is north pole this is south pole this is east side and this is the west side if the latitude of earth station is negative first case considered the first case negative means it is pointed towards the south pole right and value of capital b that is phi e minus phi ss if its value is negative that means it is towards the west side right so case 1 that is figure number a if lambda e is less than 0 and b is less than 0 then the value of azimuth angle is same as the value of a that we have already calculated like this right and the value of capital b is phi e minus phi ss considering the now case b figure number 2 if the value of lambda e is less than 0 means it is pointed towards the south pole and its longitude is tau towards the east side so its value should be a positive angle should be a positive so its value should be greater than 0 then azimuth angle will be 360 minus a right now considering the third case if lambda e is greater than 0 that means its value is positive so it is pointed towards the north side but the value of capital b is less than 0 that means it is pointed towards the west side so considering the third case the value of azimuth angle is 180 minus a similarly if both the values are positive that means latitude is at north side as well as longitude is towards east side this point so the azimuth angle is 180 plus a right so azimuth angle will be calculated like this the calculation of elevation angle will be discussed in the next section these are the references thank you